As a true follower of Jesus Christ, please understand Jesus did not guarantee our safety in this world. As a matter of fact, Jesus told us in John 15 verse 18 to 19, If the world hates you, keep in mind that he hated me first. If you belong to the world, it will love you as its own. As it is, you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. Because Jesus has chosen us out of the world, he told us our safety was in jeopardy and the world would hate us. All Jesus' disciples went through many trials. Their safety was in constant jeopardy every day because of their love for Jesus. All of them suffer brutal death. No matter what this world wants to do to you because of your love for Jesus, keep the faith. Paul said in 2 Timothy 4 verse 7, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. In the book of Romans, Paul was asking for others to pray for his safety. In Romans 15 verse 30 to 31, Paul said, I urge you brothers and sisters by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit to join me in my struggle by praying to God for me. I pray that I may be kept safe from the unbelievers in Judea and the contribution I take to Jerusalem may be favorably received by the Lord's people there. So if God does not promise safety, what does he promise? The Lord's promise for us to have provision over our lives. God promises to guard us from the evil one. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3, The Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. God promises to uphold us. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God promised to supply all our needs. In Philippians 4 verse 19, and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Jesus promised to give us rest to those who follow him. In Matthew 11 verse 28 to 30, Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This rest Jesus spoke of is not relaxation, it is God's presence where all is in order and at peace. It is a spiritual rest God offers to those who trust in His Son Jesus Christ. This rest will give us the assurance that He who begin a good work in us will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1 verse 6 Today we are going to spend time focusing on Bible promises for safety and rest that God offers us every day in His goodness and love to His words. Confess the scriptures over your loved ones and yourself. Remember, as you confess them, no weapon formed against you will prosper. Isaiah 54 verse 17. Let's begin. John 14 verse 27. Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. 1 Peter 5 verse 7. Casting all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Isaiah 26 verse 3 The steadfast of mind you will keep in perfect peace because he trusts in you. Proverbs 3 verse 24 When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Psalm 4 verse 8 In peace I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Hebrews 4 verse 9 His works were finished from the foundation of the world. So there remains a Sabbath rest for the people of God. Romans 8 verse 6 For the mindset on the flesh is death, but the mindset on the spirit is life and peace. Psalms 91 verse 1 and 2 He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Psalm 91 verse 3 to 4 Surely he will save you from the foulest snares and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Psalms 91 verse 5 and 6 You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. Psalms 91 verse 7 to 8 A thousands may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but he will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Psalms 91 verse 9 to 10. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. 
no disaster will come near your tent. Psalms 91 verse 11 and 12. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Psalm 91 verse 13 and 14. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. Psalms 91 verse 15 to 16. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Genesis 2 verse 2 to 3. On the seventh day, God ended his work which he made, and he rested from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Amen. Heavenly Father, you are my rock and my fortress, my hope and my shield. You are the one in whom I rest, in whom I trust, and I pray that throughout this coming day, you will encircle me in your loving care and continue to protect me and all those I love from the wiles of the enemy. Father, protect us from the dangers of the day and from the evils of the night. Thank you that you have promised to deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from any deadly pestilence. Thank you that you are able to cover us with your feathers and lift us on your eagle wings. Thank you that you are our shield and rampart. Forgive me, Lord, for those times when my faith wears thin and I try to sort things out of my own strength. Help me to place my complete trust in your willingness and ability to save and protect us from all that would harm us and destroy us. Help me, Father God, to learn to rest in you from this day forward, knowing that you are in control of my life and that the life of those I love are safe in your hands. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.